Is that we're on the cusp of Christmas. Many of us here will be lucky, we'll be warm and we'll be comfortable. Many other citizens will not be so lucky. Christmas will not be good for them. James Connolly once remarked. John Cole, you can have say, 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 please, will you? Please, please. You're not impressing anybody. Deputy well, Robert, John Cole, James Connolly once remarked, Pat Rabbit, that you can judge a society by the treatment of its lowest class. Because the station and Erinia, because being an Erinia sheriff, janter, cheer of a shaky, a homish, or an Wallach and a Gudger yo should at a local yak. Tishok and Minister Robert, you can stand on the plinth here outside this parliament and you can see the grim reality of homelessness in this city, where night after night, from summertime through the freeze of this winter, people are forced to sleep rough. Five years ago, there were 1,281 excess winter deaths, to use the jargon. Most of them were elderly and vulnerable citizens. This year, there will be more. Many senior citizens are not well treated in this republic. For example, in September, your government cut the weekly fuel allowances. You also cut the household benefits package fuel allowances, and last week you cut fuel allowances by the equivalent of €120. Euro. There are also huge injustices suffered by citizens in the care of the state. The disgraceful treatment of the five women in St Brendan's Grange Gorman is a shocking indictment of our mental health service. And mental health provision, Taoiseach, still remains the Cinderella of our health services. These women should be cherished not victimised. Question, please. Taoiseach, do you accept that for many citizens, Christmas this year will be colder and poorer because of the Scrooge-like policies of your government? Well, in the last community, I'm going to ask the Sikhach to ask you, I think it's a good thing to ask you 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 couldn't you finish that more of a capacity? I guess we have on course of social at the time. Um, changes that were made for the fuel allowances to the wear deputy mean that it's um, it's operational for six months of the year. Um, obviously, obviously that's a reduction from what it was, but six months is um, is is a considerable period to have um, a fuel uh, allowance made available. The Minister of State, um, Minister Lynch, clarified the position about the five uh, women that were referred to here in the door yesterday. And uh, as I now understand it, the changes being made here mean that those, um, those citizens um, are not confined in locked quarters uh, and will be enabled to, uh, to move around in freedom and in, um, um, in respect of their personal space, as one would expect. I thank the Minister uh, of State for her intervention in that regard. I listened to Mr Cavanagh this morning speaking of this about Morning Ireland as well. The, um, the, um, it's, it's a fact, Deputy, that we've had homelessness in this city uh, for very many years. Uh, there are quite a number of, of, um, of studies carried out and reports uh, by groups and organisations who work with the homeless. Uh, these vary in numbers uh, from year to year depending on the, on the circumstances that they find themselves in or the, um, the reasons why they're on the street. Um, I've had occasion to speak to um, numbers of them in the vicinity of this house over the years. Uh, some are there because of marital rows. Some are there because they couldn't get on in the homes in which they were. Some are there because of, uh, of particular um, issues affecting themselves. Um, and in, in many cases, and in some cases, uh, they, they just simply don't want to be housed anywhere. Speaking to a young man recently uh, on the street who's homeless, I asked him, you know, was he in a position to stay in a hostel? And he said he couldn't go in there, that he'd quite likely to be attacked and whatever else. Uh, these are issues that are always under review by organisations who do such great work with homeless people. Uh, and the reports that are there 
uh, if they're followed through uh, properly, will lead to a, a huge improvement in this, and we support that in the best way that we can. Um, you're aware that the Minister for Energy Deputy has um, published the Affordable Energy Strategy uh, just two weeks ago, and that sets out 48 timetabled actions uh, that, when they're implemented, will make a big difference to a great number of people. And the, uh, the Better Energy Programme, also published by the Minister, will mean that 76 million will be spent on improving the lot of people who are in poor or homeless uh, housing conditions. Uh, these are citizens. No one is homeless by choice. No one was sleeping rough by choice. There are 5,000 citizens without a home. There are 200 sleeping rough. It's almost impossible to get emergency accommodation in this city. The minister did deal with the Green government issue, but she did not pretend that it was adequate. These five women are still... Sorry, we only deal with one topic at a time, please. Thank you. Well, Ren, the, the Taoiseach uh, responded to this, uh, Kion Corrigan. Is he responding to and, it? I, and I really... It's, you, you, you cut in on me all the time, Kion Corrigan. No, 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 I'm just, re I'm just, I'm just reminding you of the rules, that's all. All right. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's smart remarks from Labour ministers. I mean, why don't we have a Minister for Housing appointed? Why has the position not been uh, filled? Does this government not take the issue of housing seriously? Eh? Riddle me this pot with all the smart aleck remarks. Why was that position not filled since the Department of Commerce and they put it round you in case anybody interrupts you? There is, there is a crisis. There is a crisis, and the government's response to this crisis is not even to appoint a housing minister. And the, the question has to be put in the context of there being 300,000 empty properties in this state, mostly many of them owned by NAMO. So we have this imbalance of 5,000 citizens homeless and 300,000 empty houses and apartments. So what do we do about this? And I put the question again to you. Do you not take the homeless and the housing crisis seriously? And if so, when will you appoint a minister for housing? Peter. Uh, I share your view and your concern, Deputy Adams, that no, no citizen in this country should be on the streets of our cities homeless. The reasons for this are are many and varied. They're personal, they're sensitive, uh, and when you talk to people who are in that position, you learn a lot from them. I've met with um, Vincent de Paul personnel with the Simon community. I was down in Temple Bar recently with Sister Stan and her people, and the programs that they want to implement will, um, will over the course of a couple of years, go a very long way to alleviating um, this particular problem. But as you know, there are always new people, for whatever reason, who become homeless and who take to our streets. I would think in a, in a civilised society, um, as well off as, as Ireland has been, uh, this shouldn't be a reality, but it is a reality. In fact, way back, even, even uh, when I came in here first over, over 30 years ago, there were a number of people in the locality of Leinster House here who who, while attempts were made to uh, house them at various times, just didn't want to do it for particular personal reasons for themselves. So we can take it that the, uh, the Thornishta uh, will make his recommendation in respect of appointments from within his party uh, to government um, when, he, when he decides to do that. And uh, obviously, government are well aware of the, of the nature of the problem, of the scale of the problem, uh, and will do uh, what we can to alleviate this and work with the organisations who do such brilliant work out there night after night on the streets and, and, and byways uh, of this country. I'd like to think that we could, um, we could accept the targets set out in the many reports which I believe um, are achievable and which would, would go, go a very long way 
to dealing with this prob problem in a really comprehensive fashion. Thank you. It's not nice, and when you speak to the people involved, you do learn a lot about their views, about our country, about the way that it was run, and about their views on how it should be run in the future.